Hello everybody, welcome back to the Nibiru channel. It is October 31st, 2016. And over the past few days, we have been photographing and some of our subscribers have been photographing a very strange planetary object near Venus in the nighttime sky. Actually, it seems to be two objects near Venus. Now, we have tried consistently over the past 72 hours to identify these two objects unsuccessfully, meaning we have looked at some star charts, we have used our space map, and there is no identifying planet or star that should be in these photographs. Also, I wanted to mention that our comment section under our videos will continue to be disabled due to the constant trolling and spread of disinformation to our subscribers. Now, getting directly into these photographs that we are talking about of Venus and these other planetary objects, started showing up around October 25th, and we received several photographs from our subscribers that were viewing these objects and actually took fantastic photographs. And like I said, we tried very hard to identify these objects. There was a possibility that the one object was Saturn, but whenever we placed it into the star chart and our space map program, it just doesn't even match up, not even close. There is also the star Antares, but the positioning of Antares and these photographs just doesn't match up, folks. We tried consistently over the past 72 hours to match these objects up. And like I've said, they just don't match up. Now, this planet could be very far in distant space, and we try to match it up with Saturn, but there is just no possible way that object could be Saturn. The photograph you're viewing now, we thought could possibly be Antares, but once we tried to match it up according to the dates that the photographs were taken, Antares would be very far south in any of these photographs. And when you look at the photographs in their originality, they just don't match up. They just don't match up at all. So the possibilities of other planetary objects being photographed in our skies is a very high possibility. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm just going to be quite frank with you. There is absolutely no way that NASA or any governments are going to come out and tell you that what you are seeing in the sky is rogue planets, Nibiru, Planet X. They're just not going to tell you that. They're going to give you disinformation. That much is a fact. That is one of the reasons why our comment section has been shut down. And as you can see, October 22nd, we tried to match up the alignment of Saturn, Venus, and Antares. And in the photographs that you viewed, they were taken on the 27th, 28th, and 29th, they just do not match up in any way. There is also a planet that's being seen in photographs coming from the ISS for a few weeks now. It seems that they are tracking it. We cannot identify it at all. And then, 48 hours ago, one of our subscribers sent in these photographs. Is it possibly a meteor or a streaking planet such as what Nibiru was photographed last year? We don't know, but we try to zoom into these photographs as tight as possible, and we don't see any type of aircraft. On top of that, these photographs show this object flying straight down, and any type of aircraft would basically just break apart with the G-forces that would be shown in these photographs. And then you take a look at a chemtrail in this photograph. They just don't look the same at all. We've had some photographs coming in from Alaska webcams showing some type of shadowy object that is consistently in the sky. And we have many more of these photographs. And we're going to continue to go through them. They were all taken the last few days here in October. And we're going to be going through them in the next couple of hours. I took this photograph yesterday of the sun at directly 12 o'clock in the afternoon. And this was taken due south. And I know where I live. I know where the sun should be at 12 o'clock in the afternoon. And it should not be in the south. 
nor should it be that low in the horizon. We also got some photographs in from one of our subscribers in Wales that basically stated this beautiful rainbow and halo appeared in the sky just out of nowhere. Now, I'm not too sure about the weather conditions, but when these objects, these rainbow and halo objects, just appear out of nowhere, it is quite startling to people. Yes, it's very beautiful, but these are happening all over the world and huge halos around the sun. So listen, stay tuned because we have so much information coming in. We are actually being overwhelmed with it and we're doing our best to decipher all of the photographs and videos. I'd like to thank all of our Nibiru watchers. You guys do a fantastic job. We'd also like to thank you for your loyal subscribership. You can continue to email your photographs and your video to NibiruPlanetX2016 at gmail.com. And don't forget to share our videos with your friends and family members on Facebook. And subscribe to the Nibiru channel for all of our current updates. And like I always say, keep an eye in the sky. Hello everybody, welcome back to the Nibiru channel. It is October 31st, 2016. And over the past few days, we have been photographing and some of our subscribers have been photographing a very strange planetary object near Venus in the nighttime sky. Actually, it seems to be two objects near Venus. Now, we have tried consistently over the past 72 hours to identify these two objects unsuccessfully, meaning we have looked at some star charts, we have used our space map, and there is no identifying planet or star that should be 